And because they mentioned, uh, Julia, that suspect or suspect really could be anywhere, please do want to get this story uh, to get national attention. And it is, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. In fact, NBC News correspondent Gabe Gutierrez is in Indiana this morning covering the story. Our Matt McCutcheon is with him in Delphi this morning. Matt? That's right. Good morning. This will, in fact, be one of the big stories on the Today Show, handled by Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News correspondent. He joins us this morning. Good morning to you. Morning. First of all, when you look at the story, you've covered so many national stories. What about this one stands out to you? You know, this is every parent's worst nightmare, right? You have a 14-year-old, a 13-year-old girl uh, that just disappeared, and their parents gave them permission to go hiking. And it's every parent's fear that something like this could happen. And I think this has really struck a chord around the country, the search for these two girls. Now the FBI asking for tips, this reward being offered. And now that news conference that authorities held yesterday where they released this chilling audio recording, and now they're calling this girl a hero because she may have had the presence of mind to possibly film and record her attacker before this all happened. And the national interest in the story as well has been building. Obviously, that's why you are here. Yeah, that's exactly right. And, you know, like I mentioned, I think this is a story that resonates with a lot of parents. And there's this big mystery, mystery right now, a chilling double mystery on who killed these two young girls. It's obviously heartbreaking to see what this community is going through, all the questions that remain unanswered. And now the authorities, you know, even at times, you know, almost choking up yesterday when they're discussing what this does to the community and how difficult it is to investigate this case. It's just so incredibly tragic on so many levels. We know you'll be alive about right behind us here on the Today Show coming up about half an hour. What will you be working on? Uh, well, we're um, working on uh, several, several aspects of this case, including, you know, authorities want to get the word out. The FBI is, you know, mounting a, a national campaign in order to uh, you know, get some of these, uh, get the word out on these billboards, this reward that uh, is expected to mount. Uh, we're also, you know, hearing from the police investigators as well that I'm sure you guys have been covering, and uh, we're just trying to get the word out as much to see if anybody has any information about this case to go ahead and you know call authorities and see if they can solve this mystery. All right, NBC's Gabe Gutierrez, thanks so much for joining us here this morning. So again, part of the national attention, Ben and Julia, this story is getting all of the FBI so desperately hopes for a quick arrest in this case. Well, you know, one thing uh, from authorities yesterday, Matt, uh, they, did, they did praise the media as a whole, and we're certainly not just responsible for that. But uh, as far as getting the word out, now we have the power of the national media, too. So hopefully we can find these suspects or suspect. Uh, Matt McCutcheon live for us in Delphi. Thanks to you and Gabe. And we also learned yesterday that donations are making up reward for those tips that lead to an arrest in this case. Right now, it's up to $41,000. But if you'd like to contribute, we do have the information here on the screen for you this morning. This address for the Indiana State Police Alliance. It is lengthy, so we're also going to post it for you online. We have that address, the tip phone number as well. There's also a new email address that was just li uh, re uh, released yesterday where you can send your tips. We posted all of this for you on all of our social media accounts and at WTHR.com.